This is the uh, wise owl to congratulate you from the sea where I live. For many years, I've been looking for uh, easier, easier ways to remember the uh, periodic table of elements uh, because, it, uh, because many years ago, when I first began to uh, study it, uh, I had trouble retaining in memory the chemical um, symbols and the atomic numbers and the, ato and the atomic mass and stuff like that. So I, I, it took me many years to, 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 to formulate ways, many ways, not just one, to retain and remember these uh, these chemical symbols and atomic number and such and such. To do so, I decided, to, I made many ways, and one way is to um, use names, people's names, my name, anybody's name, first name, middle initials, or middle name, and, and last name. It could be anybody. And um, I noticed that, that, that there's a lot of names, not all, not all, but some, uh, or made up completely of um, chemical symbols. Okay? For example, um, Bonham. The, the, the name Bonham. B B O N H A M. Bonham. You get the B with atomic number of five. That's for B, it's for boron, capital B. It's for boron. It's capital B O R O N. Then you got the O for oxygen, which is um, uh, uh, capital O X Y, capital O X Y G E N. Now boron has an atomic number of five, and oxygen has an atomic number of eight. Then we have a new um, uh, chemical symbol that, that not too long ago, not too long ago was uh, it was introduced into the uh, periodic table of elements, and that's. Uh, the element, um, I mean, the atomic, that's the element's name is uh, Nihonium, capital N-I-H-O-N-I-A-N, capital N-I-H-O-N-I-A-N, and the uh, chemical symbol for, for uh, Nihonium is capital N and a small h, and its atomic number is 113, that's right, 113, it's heavy. Um, um, uh, it's a heavy um, um, element, and um, and it's 113, and actually it was just introduced into the uh, table of elements not too long long ago. So if you haven't heard about it, it, it stands to reason because it's fairly new. Okay, then you got um, a m up to a and a small m uh, for, for atomic number of 95, and that is for americium. Ah, Mary Kiem, capital A M E R C I U M, Mary Kiem. You got it? And there you go, the name Bonham. Bonham. Then we got the name Moran. Moran, capital O M R A N. And that's all completely uh, chemical symbols. We got the capital M and the small O with the, with the atomic number of um, 42. And capital M O stands for. Molybdenum, molybdenum, and that's spelled capital M O L Y B D N U M, molybdenum. Then we got the capital R and a small a, 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 a chemical symbol with atomic number of 88, and that's for, um, for va radium, capital R A D I U M. Capital R A D I U M, okay, For, okay, and then you got the N. Capital N and it's in an atomic number of seven. Capital N is the is the chemical symbol for nitrogen, which is spelled capital N I T R O G E N, okay. Now, when you study the periodic table of, uh, of elements for the first time, and you just want to study the chemical symbols, when you see my video, just Put your hands over the uh, atomic number, and you got the and you, and you got the um, chemical symbols, okay, and vice versa. And you got the numbers here for atomic number, vice versa, okay. In case you, uh, you you're new to the atomic number, uh, the, uh, the chemical symbol is new to you, and you just turn out new and studying the periodic table of elements. You can do that. You know, just study the uh, put your hands over the atomic uh, atomic number, and you have it, you have all the uh, chemical symbols. M-O, capital R-A, capital N, all right? 
And then you have the names of these uh, chemical symbols right here. All right? Then we have the name clay. Clay. Capital C L A Y. C is the uh, C, capital, capital C. Capital C. It's like carbon. Uh, that's a capital C A R B O N. C A R B O N. And it's, it's the atomic number is number six, atomic number. Then we got capital L and the A with atomic number of 57. And capital L A is a chemical symbol for lanthanum. Lanthanum. Capital L A N T H A N U M. Then we got Y, capital Y, with, this, with the atomic number of 39, 39. Capital Y is a chemical symbol for yttrium, yttrium. Capital Y, T, T, R, I, U, M. You got yttrium, and that's the name clay. How about Wagner? It's a famous name, right? Wagner, W-A-G-N-E-R, w a G N E R Wagner. So we got we, we got a capital W with atomic number of seventy four, and capital W is for tungsten. Capital T U N G S T E N. Okay, capital T U N G S T E N, and that is for tungsten. And 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 don't be careful. Tungsten starts with a capital T, but the chemical symbol is a capital W, all right, for tungsten. Then you got uh, Wagner, a small a, which I capitalized right here. That's how it was, you have to write it down the right way on the table of elements. You took a small a and made it to a capital A, and and I got the small case letter G, and that, that's, just, that's a chemical symbol for silver, capital S I L. V E R, capital S I L V E R, silver, and that's atomic number of forty-seven. Then we got capital N again, the, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, atomic number of seven. But N, of course, as you know, has already been mentioned is the uh, chemical symbol um, for nitrogen. Once again, I'll spell it: capital N I T R O G E N. This is a R O. See, I've been a mistake. There's an R and an O. They ran into each other. Okay? Um, then we got capital E and a small r, an atomic number of 68. 68. And that stands for erbium. Erbium. Capital E R B I U M. Erbium. Now, now uh, this, is, this is how the method I used for many years. Uh, so I, I just remember names, okay? But not not, not for the, all the chemical symbols in the PIAC table. For those that I know it's going to be hard to remember, I picked the name that, that I'm having trouble with, remembering the chemical symbols, atomic number. And then I use that name in my, and, I, and, I, and I ingrain it in my mind. Or I write it down in, a, in an index card and then take the index card and memorize the uh, name with the chemical symbols and the atomic number. That's another method I use to remember these uh, these things. If I had to take a quiz or a test, or I just want to remember the uh, chemical symbols, an atomic number, I just use names. All right, I'm gonna write all the, I'm gonna write all this down in the, in the um, description box below. Description box below. Go to the description box. Okay, you just push a little arrowhead and and, and you get and you get the uh, it will open up for you. Okay, description box. It says, it says description. Okay, all right. Uh, this is Wise Out 2 coming at you from the Sea Where I Live. Over and out.